it's important in, in a counterinsurgency operation to have or to gain the trust of the people, the population. And, and one way of, of, um, for the population to trust the, the uh, coalition forces there is, is uh, through the women as well, that, that they know the reason why the soldiers are there and, and can see a, a future. And uh, well, the number of, of female soldiers in the Danish armed forces has gone up quite dramatically in the recent years. Uh, I think, of course, I think that's, that's positive. Uh, as long as, as uh, the, the female soldiers live up to the same uh, expectations as women can add so much uh, in the armed forces in terms of the, the, the qualities that, that we have that men not, don't necessarily have. Uh, but you should not set, set a, in my mind, you should not set a certain number. Uh, but, but there are some good initiatives. Uh, where there is a lot more focus now in NATO, in NATO member states, on how we can recruit more uh, uh, women to our armed forces and also therefore be able to send more uh, women from our armed forces uh, abroad on international missions where they are needed. But I was in, in Kabul at that point and uh, went with some colleagues to see the, the stadium in, in Kabul where they used to execute people and women. Uh, and uh, I met with some uh, children there, they were playing football and they uh, came to me of course and, and asked what I was doing or tried to ask me. And then this old lady came over and it turned out that she used to be a professor at the university in Kabul many, many years back. And she thanked me uh, uh, for, for being there and she said that it was uh, so fantastic that, that NATO forces were now in Afghanistan that they that the population hopefully could get their freedom back and that people like her could, or younger women could, could uh, start studying again and become professors as she had been at the university. So that was a, it was a wonderful story because I didn't think of myself uh, when I was there as, as, you know, the female officer, but clearly she, she couldn't go and speak to my male colleagues. I think uh, if, if more women were encouraged to, to join the armed forces and to see what it is and to experience that is we're actually not that bad in the army for instance it's not as square as you would think to young men it's to young women who are thinking about a military career i think i would say uh, try it i mean i was certainly i didn't intend to stay i joined the army 20 years ago i wanted to become a doctor but i wanted to try it for one year in the army and i'm still here and i like it every day